So while I was rendering this, I suddenly had a thought, like, what if I made a tutorial on modding Unity games? And uh, the game, this animation is based on, got me the idea. So uh, let, let's do that, actually. Things you'll need. Uh, go to uh, search dnspy on Google. That'll get you here. Go to the first link at the top, github.com. This person, dnspy. dnspy is a .NET debugger and assembly editor. These are very useful things for going through Unity games. You can tell it's good because it says Unity assemblies here. It's what we need. You hear? So go to release. And down here you'll see a whole bunch of files and you don't know which one to pick. Well, here's what it is. If you have the .NET assemblies already installed on your computer, get this one. If you don't, get your, get your Windows version. Are you running a 32-bit system or 64-bit system? And click on the one that corresponds with you and it will come with the Netcore already installed. I personally already have the .NET packages installed, so I'm going to use this one. The loud vacuum cleaner noise is my computer. It is badly in need of a cleaning. I will do that one of these days. Anyways, as this installs, uh, we'll have to find a, a game to uh, decompile. I have a few ideas. Let's see about what these ideas are. Mm hmm Okay. So, uh, it's installed. That's fine. Uh, let's go to here. Here's your game. Block Story Demo 8.04. Uh, here's a copy of dnspy. So we're just gonna go through dnspy and you're gonna look for the dnspy.exe. I'll make it nice and big so you can see it looks like this. It's got like three slates in front of each other. Click on that. If you're running the 32-bit uh, .NET systems, run the x86 one. Welcome to dnspy. Looks like I've already got some stuff in here so we're just gonna remove everything. It's already there. Okay, here we are. Welcome to uh, this. Go to file. Go to open. Uh, find your game. See I've got game here. Wanted game. Here it is. You'll know it's a Unity game because it's got this underscore data folder at the top. Uh, so we're just going to go in there and we're going to go to managed. And we're going to find in manage, we're going to find all of these nice DLL files. What is a DLL file? It's a dynamic link library. This is a kind of Windows file used for storing information such as libraries. Common examples are SDL, used by Blender, and um, I suppose there's like FreeGlut, which is popular among the C community, or GLFW, or SFML stuff like that. Anyways, here is the entire assembly. We're going to open it all. Wow, look, it's all here. Now we have access to all of this code. How do we know? Well, let's go to a, a recognizable file. Blocksters, that is a recognizable file. Not everyone has access to the Unity file system. So, here we go. And we still don't. So, here's the code. These are libraries. We can only change everything within the bounds of this library. Let's take a look at the generator. Uh, we're going to go to the chunk generator. Oh my god, look at all of this code. I wonder who wrote this. You see the... Uh, what are we going to change? We are going to change something very dramatically. And it is going to be... Things we can change. Look, this value here has a number. Height. I bet, I bet we can figure something out based on that. Uh, these say mob types, mob spawner. Back in 8.04 block story, monster spawners were physical blocks in the game. This one spawns 
bar logs. What happens if we want to change this? Oh my god, it teleported us. Why did it do that? This is not an editor, that's why. So what do we have to do? We need to go back to this. We need to right click on what we want to edit. And we want to say, edit method. Whoa. So now, look, bar log, we're going to change that. Instead of bar log, we're going to spawn some other mod. So we're going to say, what's well, something that doesn't spawn in that area of the game? We are going to change it to a source of life. And now, in place of bar logs, source of life will spawn at negative 1200. Hmm, that's a bit far down for our liking. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that, but we'll also, no, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll accept that that's where it spawns. Anyways, uh, at three, three something rather, Skeleton Fresh will also spawn a source of life. It'll, tr it'll autofill things. You can check the mod lists, as we did before, by clicking. Anyways, this. Hit compile. There shouldn't be any errors. Notice if I click on these, it'll take us to all of the enums that represent each mob. See? Public enum mob type. These are all of the different mobs in the game at this time. Anyways, to make our changes permanent, we're going to go File, and we're going to say Save Module. Okay, and on the off chance we were doing multiple, we hit save all right here, and that'll do pretty much the same thing. Close this, go back to our game, launch the game, see what happens. This is a previously modded copy. That means that it's already been modded heavily by who? Me. So, if we create a world. Make it a creative world. Hit next. Pick a character. Okay, here we are. Welcome to this world. I have destroyers. These will be useful. Bed down. We're gonna go down far. <coughs> Looks like our render complete. This is good news. <coughs> As you can see, don't be suspicious. Yes, there's acid. Players in this game, that is completely normal. As I said, this is a modern copy. Alright, here we are. We're in the low depths of the game. We need to go find a source of life. One of these spawners ought to be correct. What are these? These are Dark Mr. Giggles. So, what do we... We know these are spawning around here. So why don't we exit the game and change that. We'll go to... DN Spy. And we'll change that also. We're gonna go to... Generator. Junk generator. Edit method. Dark big worm. It's replaced by source of life. Compile. File. Save module. Okay. Let's launch. The world we just created. A player for that world. Let's go find a source of life. 
suppose it would have been better if we just changed the block types. I believe I also changed the location of Borlox, so we can go down there too. Why don't we... there it is. There's a source of life. See? It doesn't belong here, but it spawns here. Now let's do some more stuff with this amazing technique. Okay, let's look for something else to change. Um, this here says Devil Rock. That can only... The computer is annoying. close that. Alright. Method. Wait a minute, we're looking for something. What is it called? Red leaves. Red leaves, here. Let's edit that method and we'll call it... Stone. Oh wait, so many different types. Uh, forgotten Stone Antique. Save module. Exit the game. Save module again, just in case. Launch game. Play. Do note that you can also mess with the height generator. Examples of me doing this are... available in this screenshot. World 3. The character. Oh my word, are those forgotten stone antiques? No, they can't be. I bet they're still slime if you dig them up. No, nope. well if I dig them up, guess what? It's a forgotten stone antique. The one and the only. That is how you mod Unity games. Basic rundown, using Block Story as an example. I killed two birds with one stone in this video, as my audience mainly comprises two different types of people. Thank you for watching this video by Coender Heidi from Lumpology. This is our road to 10,000 subscribers, because we just hit 1,000. Fun times. I hope you enjoyed this video, or learned something. If you didn't, hit the dislike button because it will help me out anyways. Dispopularity is popularity, as they always say. If you put in the effort to make this channel disliked, it'll in theory be liked. Anyways, thank you for watching.